Would you look at that, it finally snowed again. What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we are not riding, obviously there's not enough snow, even though I do ride in like no snow. We only got like a dusting of snow, but there is snow in the forecast for the rest of this week, which is incredible. Um, it's looking good, it's looking real good. They're talking a lot of snow here next week, like or like this upcoming week, Thursday, Friday. So stay tuned for that. We should be able to get out on the sled again and ride around here. But today we are talking about two different things really. We're talking about the recalls that were just recently released on these sleds the Patriot A50 and we are talking about the two main issues I've had with the sled and the only two issues I've had with the sled. All right, so the first issue I've had with the sled, we'll jump right into it, is this display. I have had one issue with it. It only happened once. I think it was just like a freak incident, but when I was riding it, I shut it off to take a break and I turned it back on, went to go ride and the screen turned on like it should. The uh, PID display turned on like it should. Everything was there and all of a sudden it went black and there was nothing there. So I pulled over. And I was like, I don't know why it's not working. I was like pressing buttons, tapping on it, it wouldn't work. So what I did is I shut the sled off, restarted, and it was completely fine. I never had another issue like that. So I feel like that might have just been like a freak incident that just happened once. So it's not too big of a deal. The second issue, which is my biggest issue with this sled, which I am, it's like, I love the sled, don't get me wrong. But this has been really like, um, I've been on edge about this. I'm not too big a fan of what's been happening. Is It bogs. It bogs heavy. Um stock can aftermarket can it bogs a lot like from a dig so from like a dead stop pinning it won't lift the front up it'll bog out um i'll insert a clip right now yeah so that's what it does it bogs out completely and then it picks up and goes but what's weird is if you're in the mid-range like cruising along at like 15 20 anything above a dead stop and put it to the bar it lifts the skis and goes there's something from a dead stop it just does not want to go which is really frustrating especially when you're trying to wheelie and you're playing in the snow and you want to get the front end up real quick it doesn't do that it'll bog change this from ethanol to non-ethanol and it helped just a little bit it did clear up a little bit of the bogging i also checked the belt deflection and the track tension and that's all good um there's really no issues there I also had the weights changed out, which made a little bit more of a difference, but still, it's still there, it still bogs. I also read that people have been doing to get rid of the bogging on this motor is regapping their spark plugs and trying new plugs, which I actually have not done yet, but I do have a spare set of plugs I might throw in there and regap to the proper gapping. So I've heard some of these gaps are too wide, which is causing it to bog. So I'm gonna probably regap my plugs, put new ones in, and see if that makes any difference in the bogging when we get snow again around here. And I'll keep you guys updated on the whole bogging issue if I can get it fixed on my own, or I have to take it to a dealership or anything. It's like a small issue, and I know it could still be in braking mode. I know like it's not fully out of braking mode. I only have 200 miles on it, and I'm not too sure how many hours. Um, I don't wanna fire it up and let it run for 30 seconds to check. So. I'm not too sure about the hours, but I do know it's still in braking mode, so that could have something to do with it, but I have a buddy with a the exact same sled as mine, just all black, and he says he has absolutely zero bog. My dad's 850 XKS has absolutely zero bog, so I think it's something to do with my sled, so I'm going to try regapping the plug and see if that works, and if all else fails, I will end up taking it to the dealership I bought it at and see if they can figure it out. It doesn't bog as frequently as it did when it was in ethanol mode and with the different weights, but it still bogs and it's still really annoying, so I'm not too big of a fan of that. But those are my two main issues with this sled so far. And I just saw players release some recalls to the dealers or something on the sleds. And one of them involves bogging. And the other involves some issues I haven't personally had. And uh, where's some wood? Knock on wood. I will never have with this sled. So we're going to sit down and I'm going to read you guys these recalls in case you guys have an 850 and don't have any idea about these recalls. All right, so like I was saying, with the recalls players released to the Polaris Snowmobile dealers, this is looks like from the website, the screenshot I found it, it says PolarisDealers.com. So I think this is something that only the dealers get to see, but somehow it got leaked on a Facebook page, and now I have it right here, which I'm gonna read to you guys in case you guys are not aware about any of this, and you can get your sled checked or fixed or make sure that everything's running right on your 850 so you don't have any of these issues. All right, guys, so the first one's a very commonly known issue. It is the PTO bearing. So here from this article, it says, fewer than 1% of registered sleds have experienced outer PTO PTO bearing failures. Of these, nearly all occurred on RMK miles within the braking period. Furthermore, service and manufacturing practices were revisited to ensure that sleds produced slash serviced after December 18th, 2018 will not experience this failure. The rider implications, sleds beyond the braking period, non-RMK models, or engines produced after December 18th, 2018 are highly unlikely to experience the PTO bearing issue. So basically, if you guys have a late model sled, you guys shouldn't have this issue. So that's pretty cool. My sled was manufactured beginning of November. So there is a possibility I could have this issue. Um, I checked the build dates on your guys' sleds just to see if it's a possibility that you guys have had this issue or not. 
but that's just the first one is the PTO bearing. The second one is the crankshaft inboard bearings. It says Polaris continues to investigate a very limited number of field occurrences fewer than 2% related to inboard crankshaft bearing durability, primarily during the initial engine braking period. In nearly all cases, these have occurred during early mile riding. Under implications, riders who have accumulated more than 500 miles have a very low probability, less than 1% they will experience an inboard bearing issue. Ride with confidence, they say. Like, obviously, all these recalls, from what Polaris is saying, is a very, very, very small percentage of the sludge Polaris actually ended up selling. So, like, one in two percent, like, come on. I think I heard they sold 30,000 sleds. Don't quote me on that, because I'm not too sure. But one or two percent out of 30,000 is not bad. And I think what we're seeing on Facebook and everywhere else is no one's posting the good stuff about these sleds. Everyone's posting the bad stuff. They're posting, my sled blew up. My sled is this issue, this issue, the PTO bearing. It bogs. It's this. It's that. It's that. No one's posting the positives. All we're seeing is negatives. So, really, only one or two percent of these, are, it's not bad at all. Okay, so, the oil check valve. On December 20th, 2018, Polaris released Team Tip S-18-12-02 to address what should be done if a rider in encounters a disconnected or damaged oil line. Should an oil line become disconnected, the rider should stop riding immediately and bring the sled into the dealership for repair. Polaris has determined that these displaced oil lines are caused by a plugged inner check valve. This plugging is caused by an excess of silicone applied in the manufacturing process. Polaris has remedied this manufacturing issue and any service engines produced after December 18th, 2019 were not affected. So they put December 18th, 2019. Um, I would guess they meant 2018, maybe there's a little typo. So basically, if your motor is produced after December 18th, you should not be affected. Well, the failure rates for this condition remain very low, fewer than 2%, so again, less than 2%. Affected vehicles typically provide some warning as an outline in the team tip. Player service procedures to address this repair are proven and updated in the player service manual. So basically, if you had this issue, your dealer should know how to fix it, and they should have all the tips in the manual on how to go about getting your sled back on the trail or the mountains as quick as possible. Here's another big issue was a lot of people early on were having issues starting their sleds. So hard starting engine stalling caused by loose disconnected power connector. Here you guys go if you guys are having issues with your starting. Team tip S-18-11-02 addresses what should be done if a snowmobile does not start or run due to ground connection being broken from bent diagnostic power test jumper connector pins or from unplugged diagnostic power connector. So basically there could be a number of things wrong with starting your sled. I know I've seen people do like you hold the throttle wide open and pull it and it should start or you go in the sled, disconnect your pins for the uh, fuel pump and then you reconnect them and that's supposed to help. Um, there's a bunch of different things you could do, but Polaris does have a way to fix this. So if you're having that issue, consistently bring it to your dealer and they should be able to fix it for you. What I'm having an issue with, the runability concerns. A few riders have experienced cold start plug following mid-range RPM body and hesitation and or hot engine restart concerns. To troubleshoot these concerns, Polaris has posted an engine bog self-help article that ensure dealers and customers have accurate information on common issues of the runability concerns. And they also, this is what I am interested in, released an updated ECU calibration on February 8th, 2019 to address persistent runability concerns which are not adequately addressed by the self-help article. Digital wrench version 4.0 updated on February 8th, 2019 or newer includes the updated calibration. So that might be my last resort effort. If I can't fix this with gap my plugs and it doesn't go away within the next few rides i'm going to take it down to my dealership and have them run the uh, diagnostic and see if they could reflash my ecu and get it to stop bogging so those are the main recalls and issues polaris has addressed to their dealers i found that on facebook um it looks legit um these are all real issues it's um i'll throw this up on the screen at some point it is legit from polaris it says polarisdealers.com so someone must have taken a screenshot that works for polaris or found a way to get in there i'm not too sure but we got to remember with these sleds is this is a first year motor there are going to be issues with this sled this is not going to be like the proven 800 ho finally after like its issues and they got it all worked out it's not gonna be like that this is a first year sled you're gonna have issues with this sled i went into this knowing there are going to be issues with it like think about the Fusion 900. That motor was a ticking time bomb. People, it was awful. They stopped making it, it was so bad. Like this motor, on all these issues, players are saying it's fewer than one or 2%. And I think out of all the sleds out there, we're just hearing about the ones that fail. We're not hearing about the good ones. People are just bringing the negative to this. This is not to bring negativity to the 850 motor. This is to help you guys if you guys are having issues with your 850, so you know where to take it to the dealership and if there's like a way players can help you. And I also want to address my blogging issue because I share everything about the sled with you guys. And I want to make sure you guys know and are up to date on everything that's going on with this sled here. So this is not a negative video. 
This is just to show you guys that there is ways to fix your slider if you're having issues and to look for common issues so you don't have more issues in the future. Like I said, I will keep you guys updated on the bogging issue with this sled. I'm gonna try regapping my plugs before I ride it this week. And what else is going on this week? We have snow coming this week. Also, we are going to the UP finally. Uh, I think March, the first weekend of March maybe. Yeah, we're going up there first weekend in March or second weekend, depends on um, when everyone else is going up. But we're playing a big ride up there. There's gonna be three or four 850s up there. So that's gonna be pretty fun. So you guys get a bunch of content with a bunch of different 850s. So I'm super stoked on that. So we'll get deep snow content coming soon. Um, we're supposed to get some good snow around the house around here. So we'll be going riding around here. And yeah, again, keep you updated on the bogging issue. And the next few videos are gonna be garage videos unless we get some good snow tomorrow like they're saying but i don't think it's gonna be as good as they're saying we'll see yeah it might be rideable but if it is obviously we'll go ride and get a video if not we'll have to wait till towards the end of the week thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video or this helped you guys i want you guys to go ahead and smash the like button give me a huge thumbs up on this video comment down below if you've had any issues with your 850 and if this video like helped you or you're gonna go to a dealership and get yourself fixed and also i want to hear are your 850s blogging or not because i don't know if i'm the only one that's happening to or what like that's the only one out of all the people I know with them, and I know a lot of people with 850s who's having a bogging issue. And like I always say, if you guys are new here or you've been watching for a while and you are not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, and without further ado, that's a wrap on today's video, guys. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.